Welcome to Fusion Operations. I'm sure you're excited to get started, but you're probably wondering, how do I get up and running as quickly as possible? Don't worry, we're here to help you get the most out of your experience. Let's jump in. Here are the key steps you'll need to take when you start your trial of Fusion Operations. First, start with who. Who are the workers you want to test the system with? Get them set up by going to the worker's workspace under management. Adding a worker. Fill in the required information for each person. We suggest starting with a small group of less than five team members. Next, focus on the what. What products do you want to track production for during this trial? We recommend starting with an existing product line that is fairly low in complexity or a new pilot product line that you are looking to implement the system with. To do this, go to the product's workspace under management, create a new product, and fill in the required fields. Lastly, finish with the how. How do you create your products? Do this by defining the operations related to manufacturing the specific product line you defined earlier. You can accomplish this by going to the Operations Workspace under Management. Add in the operation, linking the operation to the previously created product. Data drives insights. So, now that we have defined the workers, products, and operations, you can now create production orders and begin seeing in real time how well you're able to execute on your production plans. Remember, the goal here is to provide visibility and insights into the areas that spreadsheets and whiteboards can't. So here are the areas to focus on and prioritize for your initial setup. The production order is the key record to drive insight for fusion operations. So let's look at getting that set up and configured. Go to the production orders workspace under management. Link the specific products and workers related to the production order. Production code quantities, start and due dates, and set order as active. Now you can start testing. Use the mobile app simulator or the mobile app to activate the insert production function and log work against the production order. You'll see notifications right away that production has begun. Continue to enter in activities to start feeding data to the dashboards. Great, you now have your tenant configured and ready to go. But how do you get everyone else on your team up to speed with minimal risk, cost, and disruption to your team members' and daily operations? Here are a few tips. Install the app prior to going live and train pilot participants on logging activities against the production order that you set up previously. You can find these tutorials under Help, Help Center, using the mobile app. Next, go live with the pilot run and establish a daily cadence to check in on any issues users are having. Get feedback on the functions and review the dashboard, metrics, analytics, and reports. Finally, as you progress, keep refining each workspace with more detail and begin to choose other workspaces that can add even more insight to your production process. There you go you're now ready to start taking advantage of data insights to minimize production waste, reduce manufacturing costs, and identify bottlenecks. If at any point in this process you run into a few snags, please reach out to a Fusion Operation product specialist by using the live chat feature, and we'll get you pointed in the right direction. We're excited to have you on board in starting your journey on optimizing your manufacturing process with Fusion Operations.